that's better now I've got the blue balloon cut out green is whole pink has two bits cut out of it so it hasn't had the piece cut out for the green part okay select the green bit create a void made a mistake undo it select the pink part create a void and generate all right I think we have it now pink bottom bit yes pink balloon with one two three pieces cut out purple balloon only needs a pink piece cut out yellow balloon it's fine and the blue balloon and the green balloon all right okay we have sorted our balloons as you notice I was um, filling in voids and creating voids depending on what I actually wanted to do with the balloons so you will need to play around you may have to adjust like I did when I made the mistake of taking pieces out of this green balloon that I didn't want now I'm also going to change the direction on these balloons just so that they do go different ways if you make a mistake like I just did because you haven't merged them together okay so if I change that direction I'll get a different look of the balloon when I generate but that's not a problem I just don't want them all stitching out the same way okay that gives it a bit more appeal now I need uh, to actually bunch these balloons together so I'm going to use my um, create freehand line tool and I'm just going to right click enter now roughly that balloon could come down there so I will start there and right click and enter again I just want it to come inside enter the pink yellow one can come out here somewhere didn't like that last bit so I just did my back space enter and the last one from the purple backspace 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 enter okay so I'm just going to now select all those so you can see them better I'll just use an orange cord and I'm going to go to my grade out tool I'm going to right click anywhere on those lines and merge them and generate them now I have all those strings all uh, joined together they're all double run I'm going to right stick click and say move to top and they will sew out now before the rest of the balloons so you have your balloons with your little ropes attached etc now if you look closely you can see that looks a bit strange it's not actually coming from under here it's coming from around the side I'd prefer if it came from under here so I'm just going to click on those on my sequence and 
I'm just going to actually just bring that round as a fraction. And edit it. And generate. Okay, that's a little bit better. So once again, we have played with the balloons and we've cut some bits out and we've put some bits in and finished off with a bunch of balloons. If you wanted to, you could actually put an outline around those balloons. So what I'm going to do is going to go to the sequence window and select, by holding down my control key, all the actual main parts of the balloons. Okay, you can see them all highlighted there in blue. Now I'm going to go to Stitch and Create Outline from Area Edges. I'm going to make it into a double run and I'm going to click OK. You'll see now that it's put an outline around those balloons so I can generate. Now you can actually see that each balloon is a different colour therefore I've got a different outline. So while they're selected I'm just going to pick a brown colour and if you go to 3D, you'll see now that we actually have got an outline around there. I'm just going to turn off the 3D again. Go back up and select all the outlines for the different colours. I'm going to right click on one of those outline areas and merge. And then generate. That's actually now made all the balloons outlines merge together. And if I turn off and 3D view, you can see that we've actually got an outline now around all those balloons. I could also, if I wanted to, select that and also select those and merge them together. But that would mean that those uh, balloons, um, strings, can't even get my words out this morning, uh, would be sewn all at once, which is maybe not a good idea. So to give you a better look at the outline, I'll just make that into a darker colour and again we'll 3D view it. And there you have your balloons with an outline. And you can actually use that method for an outline whenever you're outlining different things.